because it's very hard to change people's perspective of you. So to lots of people, I will forever be, oh, look, it's Dave Allen. Oh, he's funny. He's mad. He's daft. Couldn't be further from the truth. Um, and maybe one day I'll go and have some lessons in uh, speaking with some eloquence and speak a little bit proper, you know, start speaking proper English. But until then, people can have their opinions. They're welcome to them. The nice ones, thank you very much. And the bad ones, you're welcome to have them. But I don't really care. I used to, it used to bother me sometimes, but now, not really asked. So, you know, um, while I'm while I'm really cleared and fit to fight, and while I'm still capable of boxing at a decent level, I'll continue for a few years more. Appreciate the thorough answer there, Dave. It was well answered. Just a couple of small things before I bring it back to you. The heavyweight division, obviously, very, very much flowing, very busy. Took a, seems like usage while needs to be in place for everything else to fall in, like the dominoes falling in place. So I just want to talk to you about uh, a couple of controversies, I guess. Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. A lot of people saying that the WBC heavyweight champion, the lineal champion, should be taking someone on in the uh, WBC rankings at the very least, but he's gone and taken on on uh, Francis Ngannou, um, do you do you feel the same disappointment that a lot of boxing fans feel? Yeah, I'm disappointed to be honest. Um, the Ngannou fight, I'm probably going to pay to watch it because I'm it's intriguing. Okay, I'll pay to watch it. Yeah, um, the same way I paid to watch Jake Paul Tommy Fury. Intrigue, you know, like curiosity gets you down it. So um, I'll pay to watch it. But um, I've known Tyson a very long time. You know, we've been mates for a long time. And and um, well, I understand it. The money, the money's great. You know, he's going to get paid tens of millions to a fellow that's never boxed before. Great business for him. And I'm not here to tell him how to live the life or whatever else. But... Could have watched Matmadov, could have watched Hergovic. The thing that when the, the thing the only thing that bothers me about the whole situation is this is the saying that there's, there's no one for him to box. I can name me 30 fighters it could box. Mm. And I can really a 60 or 70 that I'd rather see than in Garnu. Um the only fight that counts right now is is Fury Usyk. And if nothing than that is a disappointment. Never mind boxing. I thought that's never had a professional fight before. But I understand it at the same time. I understand why he's doing it, but I don't like it at all. Um, and he probably should be stripped of his title, really. Mm. Because I just, he's not defended it since Chisora. And he's going to be 18 months by the time he boxes again. You know, free up the belt if he wants to do these exhibitions. By all means, go and do them. I'm happy for him, earn your money. You know, I've been friends for a long time, things are a good blow. But if you're not going to defend the belt, give these other fighters a chance that want to fight and, and want to defend the belt and want to. Um, and yeah, I want to see Fury Matmadov or Fury Ergovic, to be honest. Yeah. If we weren't going to see the Usyk fight. But uh, yeah, it's just, I, th I think it is disappointing, to be honest. Yeah, I, I'm disappointed by it. The other thing as well, look, Joshua takes on Dylan White for the third time, if you count the amateur bouts, but the second time of the professionals. Uh, it feels a bit unfair, I think, when the boxing public and a lot of people call for Joshua to stop being media friendly, stop doing the media talk and speak with your heart, speak honest. And then he does speak about his former coach, Robert McCracken, and people kind of launch in on him for that. Were you? Did you see that as a disrespectful comment uh, about his time with McCracken as other people took it to be? I never, I never heard it, you know. I saw it, but I never heard it, so I couldn't make comment on it. But um, Joshua, 2012, we met because we were spying a lot. We used to get on really well. And then we didn't get on so well for a long time. But uh, over time, I found myself really liking him because he wants to box everybody. Mm. You know, it turns out no challenge. He watched UC, he went straight back in again. He, he boxed Klitschko, you know, as a relative professional novice. He, uh, it really won me back around to be honest. I don't care what he does. I don't care what he talks about. All I care about as a boxing fan is who is boxing. That's it. So he's uh, he's won me back over. He'll fight anybody. So 
Rob McCracken's all right, not no no Rob and and Carf Rock's just funny man, you know. But um but yeah, Joshua's won me over to be honest, as a as a boxing fan again. I'm a big fan of him because he he'll fight anyone. You know, over time, uh things come out in the wash, don't they? And you see who's and you see who wants it and who don't. And Joshua uh he's uh he's the real deal. He want he wants all of he wants all of them. He bought all of them. So I'm uh, I'm a fan of him again. I'll leave the final word with you, Dave. The biggest fight of your career, uh, I guess, to date against Fraser Clark. Um, what happens when you step through the ropes with him on September 2nd? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited, to be honest. I'm really tired this morning. <laughs> so I, I'm tired. It's great to be back. You know, the... Uh, a lot of a lot of love and a lot of um well wishes and it means a lot as it always has and um I'm confident of winning mate to be honest. I really, really am. But at the same time under no illusion that is a difficult ask. So you know I'm just I'm 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 training as hard as I can, no excuses whatsoever. And the best man will win. Um and I look forward to it. And and, and Fraser's one I've known from before I even turned pro and for a very long time. So it's it's uh it's a weird one. You know, all them years later, I used to look up to him. You know, I think he he was one of the main men on the squad at the time. And uh and yeah, I um I'm just excited, mate, to be honest. It's good. It feels like uh a part of me has returned, you know. Mm. I thought it had gone and it's back. So, yeah, I give it 100% on whatever happens, happens. I promise. Dave, once again, a real pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for speaking sincerely and honestly to me. Seconds out. Look forward to seeing you turn up late uh, in the fight week. Look forward to not seeing you at the media workout, but I look forward to seeing you on uh, Saturday, September 2nd. You will, mate. Thank you very much.